the fifth and the last category of the uh, morphological and anatomical evidences which we are discussing now is connecting links. This is the fifth and the last category under the morphological and anatomical evidences connecting link. So, what is what are connecting links? The organisms which shows the properties of two groups aise organisms jo do alag alag group ke animals ki properties se apni properties resemble karte hain those organisms which show the resemblance with the property of two other uh, uh, classes of organisms that are called as connecting links let us understand this by taking a couple of examples the first protopterus it is the connecting link between the bony fishes and amphibians the connecting link between the bony fishes and the amphibians is protopterus so let us discuss some characters of the bony fishes which uh, are present in the protopterus uh, gills gill slits are present paired fins will be present and lateral line organs will be present and dorsal skin so these are some characters gills paired fins lateral line organs and dorsal skin these are the characters of bony fishes which are present in the protopterus now we will discuss about the uh, uh, functions or the some characters of the amphibians internal lens three chambered heart these are the two characters internal nares and three chambered heart these are the characteristics of amphibians but they are present in protopterus so some of the characters of bony fishes and some of the characters of amphibians both are present in the protopterus therefore it is the connecting link between the bony fishes and the amphibians now next ornitho rhynchus it is also called as duck billed platypus ornitho rhynchus or duck billed platypus it is the connecting link between mammals and reptiles so let us discuss some characters of mammals which are present in ornithorhynchus so first character presence of hairs presence of mammary gland presence of hairs presence of mammary gland and diaphragm it is the unique character diaphragm is the unique character of mammals so 
these are the three characters presence of hair, presence of mammary gland and presence of diaphragm. From these three characters we can, uh, uh, if we can find out that the mammalian characters are present in ornithorhynchus and if we are talking about the characters of reptiles then the presence of cloaca. Uh, sorry, if we talk about the characters of reptiles then uh, these are ovipositor, or the egg laying animals. These are egg-laying mammals, they are ovipositor and their egg is polylecithal. Polylecithal means their egg contains sufficient amount of yolk. Sufficient amount of yolk. Their egg contains sufficient amount of yolk. Why? Because they are ovipositor. Egg laying hair. So, there is no contact like mammals. Unke, uh, mother, there is no contact between the mother and the baby. So, that mother can provide the proper nutrition to the baby. There is no such type of contact present between the mother and baby. So, their egg is polylecithal, sufficient amount of yolk is present in the egg. So, uh, if the sufficient amount of yolk is present, then the organism will have the proper nutrition for their growth and for their development. So, the what are its character? Reptiles, the reptilian characters, ovipositor, egg is polylecithal and presence of cloaca, presence of cloaca, it is the unique character of lower invertebrates. It is the unique character of lower invertebrates. What is cloaca? It is the common opening, cloaca is the common opening for all the three systems digestive system. excretory system and reproductive system. So, ornithorhynchus connecting link between the mammals and the reptiles and the proptopterus it is the connecting link between the bony fishes and amphibians. Let us take some more examples of the uh, connecting links. The third example in the connecting link is Phenodon. It is the connecting link between fishes and amphibians. Sphenodon, connecting link between the fishes and amphibians. Next is Chimera, connecting link between bony fishes and cartilaginous fishes. Balenoglossus connecting link between non chordates and chordates. 
एंड वायरसेस कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग यूग्लीना कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन द प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स एंड वन मोर वन द इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्क्योपटेरिक्स इट इज द कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन द बर्ड्स एंड रेप्टाइल्स आर्क्योपटेरिक्स इट इज द कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन द बर्ड्स एंड द रेप्टाइल्स दे आर हैविंग सर्टेन characters of the birds like the presence of wings presence of pneumatic bones and fulcrum and they are having some reptilian features also like presence of claws and free caudal vertebrae etc so these are some connecting links first we have studied about the protopteres which is the connecting link between the bony fishes and the amphibians next ornithorhynchus mammals and the reptiles and next sphenodon which is also called as dog fish connecting link between the fishes and the amphibians and the chimera also called as rabbit fish it is the connecting link between the bony fishes and cartilaginous fishes balanoglossus connecting link between the chordates and the non chordates viruses living beings and non living beings euglena plants and animals archaeopteryx between the birds and the reptiles about archaeopteryx we will also uh, study in detail in the paleontological evidences which is our next class under the evidences of evolution